let's see how to access assert commands how to configure assert commands in Eclipse in this video we're not going to look at what is asset and how to access this this is about how to bring the libraries how to have the how to configure in order to work with assets so if you don't have assets and you're still insisting your mission to work with asset you will end up with a compile error you can see the red line here it means that there is no library configured or there is no test engine installed in your in your Eclipse first if you want to install a test ng file you have to go to help and you have you can either choose Eclipse marketplace which this is the easiest way or you can also choose install soft new software so Ecl Eclipse marketplace is very straight you know need to uh, have a control over URL and you don't need to have uh, it's very it gives you all the software that is that will work in Eclipse so here you have to search with test ng and click on find once you click on find it will look for the test ng software and it will bring you here it is so you can choose test ng for eclipse and you can click on install so if it was not installed it would be something like install you can click this and the eclipse will be installed pretty easy but if you don't have software in your machine uh, so if you don't have eclipse marketplace or if eclipse marketplace is not working for you then you can choose install new software and install new software you have to provide an URL any URL something like you, you have to provide this URL copy this URL how you can get this is you can go to um, it's pretty forward you can go to install test engine Eclipse there you will get the URL for downloading a test engine file now going back to this Eclipse window paste your URL since I already have a test engine in my Eclipse it is giving me the files that is already been installed so I don't need to worry about that but in your case you have to click on add and there you will give the name you can give test test ng and then for me the URL is not picked by its own but for you if you don't have software installed previously you will can see the URL this URL particular URL will be popped up here and click on OK once you click on OK you will get something with a single uh, option with a checkbox you have to check the checkbox and click next and you can even install so mine it gives me the option of different versions I can choose to install different version or I can still stick with my old uh, test ng file it's uh, it's up to me so this is the latest version I can either choose this or I can if you're not getting this option I I insist you to uncheck this checkbox because if I check this it will not uh, give me my existing software or it will not give me the software that belongs to the URL just double check if you're not getting it just double double check with uh, by unchecking this checkbox and click on next and you will you'll be completing the installation process if you have doubt you can refer sites here to square there are, there are many sites that has uh, steps in installing part so I couldn't show you because I already have installed and I don't want to mess up my test ng file and the second thing is to configure if you know that you have installed your uh, file so how do you know that is you can you can know that uh, by navigating to preference that you can see test ng means that you have a test ng installed in your Eclipse now if I want to configure this asset equals if I want to make if I want to wo make the library that works for you what I have to do is this you have to do after you install test ng file then now you have to go to build path <coughs> configure build path and then you have to add libraries click on test ng next and finish you see the test engine is configured here apply and apply and close now refresh your program now if I mouse over earlier it was set as asserts it's supposed to be assert now if I mouse over on assert you can see you can see the option as import assert now it is imported now this is done 
so that's how you configure your test ng first you have to install and then import the test ng library files if you can once you get the test ng library files you can use aso because aso will work in test ng only in test ng so yeah this is how you configure aso